Part two of how we made this is here. We received a bunch of questions that we hope to answer today with our guide, Ben, and our EDM machine. Anyways, so how are these made? First, we select our steel. Next, we use the bandsaw to cut the steel block down to a manageable size. Once, then twice. Then we deburr the block to remove sharp edges and burrs. Next, we use the mill to square it up and bring it to size. We hand file any sharp edges. Next, we take it to the grinding room. A magnet holds the steel block on the table while the surface grinding machine is operating. A coolant is applied while grinding. Between grinds, we turn the magnet off and use the hose to wash away any steel particles. We then use our hole popper to make pilot holes so we can thread the EDM wire. The coolant is deionized water. A brass electrode burns four holes for the four puzzle pieces and two as backup. Next, we program the machine. Then we load the steel block into the EDM. We mostly use brass wire that's 10 thousandths of an inch thick. That's about three times the size of a human hair. For some projects, we use a wire that's four thousandths of an inch thick. The typical tolerance for a project like this is one tenth of a thousandth of an inch. We fill the tank with deionized water so the liquid has zero electrical current. The water is safe to touch, which is why we can put our camera lens underwater. After threading the wire, it creates an electrical arc that burns away any conductive material. The water flushes the material waste away and the water is recycled. Despite this, the water gets very dirty within five minutes or so, so we can't see much after that point. After one piece comes out, we re-thread the wire to cut the next piece and so on. After about two hours of machining, the last piece comes out. We chop up the spent wire to be recycled. We put on the finishing touches using the manual surface grinder. Hey Ben, do we sell these? So why is this capability important to us as a company? We do use the same process to make molds for parts we make in our plastic injection molding machines. For example, we mold our E4T cover and it needs to be so precise that this lens can be installed perfectly. Thanks for watching. 